<laughs> good day, good day. How the hook are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dan. Oh, and have I got something for you today? Yeah, this is kind of an unboxing, but uh, well, it is an unboxing because uh, obviously you see a box here. It is fragile, uh, handled with care, and uh, uh, so yeah, anyway, it's um, unboxing, but it's not an unboxing Saturday. This is a special um, a package that I got. Uh, funny story is uh, FedEx, uh, uh, sh they shipped at FedEx, and FedEx doesn't stop it to the P.O. box, the uh, post office box. So this went to an address, an old address of mine uh, in the CETA. And luckily, through uh, friends and, and uh, stuff, I got it. Which really made me nervous because this is probably going to be the um, gem of the Roverland collection. Yes, uh, I'm ex so excited about this. This is, uh, this is going to be great. Um, it, it, it's kind of big, so let me get it out of the box here, and then we'll talk about it, because, uh, yeah, yeah, it's going to be a little trick, okay? Hold on a second. All right, we got that big, bulky box out of the way. Uh, this is what it looks like inside the box. Uh, this came from um, livecarmodel.com. They're from uh, CA, California. Um, ha Hacienda, Hacienda Heights. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, but uh, okay. So while I'm unwrapping this, let me kind of tell you the story. Um, I shop all over for Land Rover models, uh, eBay, um, uh, Marikai, um, Facebook. Um, you know, then on the streets, you know, I go to uh, junk shops and stuff like that. And uh, this was on Facebook. Um, and because of this right here is why I got this at such a cheap price. Um, if you folks don't know, uh, during the pandemic, uh, people in America are getting, um, stimulus checks to help them, uh, survive. And I just recently received a stimulus check. And I thought I'm going to buy one thing and one thing uh, as a splurge per se. Um, but this is uh, an investment. Uh, this is uh, something that I don't have. Uh, you folks all know that I am trying to get a, um, a Land Rover from every toy manufacturer or uh, manufacturer of models or whatnot. And I'm trying to uh, do that. Uh, sometimes I get uh, sidetracked. <laughs> but this is part of that. So, um, yeah, let's get this rest of this wrap off here and I'll uh, take a look at what we've got here. So as you can see, um, uh, this was, um, uh, as far as I understand, um, well, right away, you can see almost real. I do not have anything from almost real and we are looking at a defender 90 camel trophy edition 118 scale unbelievable so obviously this got damaged in shipping the first original uh buyer uh bought this and it got damaged in shipping i'm sure it it got returned back to um wherever i'm not sure if it was live uh carmodel.com or what but um, they, um, they went ahead uh, and sold it on uh, Facebook. I was kind of, um, it had, and now this is the thing, it had been on Facebook for quite a while. Boy, that is squished. Um, it had been on there for quite a while, and I was tempted before, but I just did not have the uh, means or funds to, uh, to pick it up, so I didn't. And, uh, so as soon as I got this, um, uh, stimulus check, I'm like, okay, this is one thing that I'm going to pick up, uh, as, you know, like I say, uh, something that I don't have, uh, and as an investment. So obviously I'm going to keep everything that comes with this, 
um, the box and all. I didn't really show you too much of the box, but that's not what we're all about. We're not all about the box. So, uh, it, oh wow, look at there. Yeah, that is pretty cool. That is a uh, sticker, I believe. Let's just take a look, quick look here. I'm not going to make you guys, I'm going to make you guys crazy looking at all this other dinky stuff. Uh, so there's uh, decals, decal sheets and stuff like that. So you can make it different uh, countries uh, and stuff like that. Uh, there's the card. So this is serial number 0418. So this is an official um, um, real almost real model uh and then here comes the interesting part this is um a baggie and a little piece uh fell out or is more this is the baggie of all the bits and pieces that came off the truck apparently so uh let's just go ahead and uh, set this stuff aside so then we can look at the model so here is um yeah, see some of this. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's kind of heavy. So this is, uh, as you see, this is the uh, Jerry cans and the uh, Camel Trophy uh, coolers and chests and uh, containers. Very, very cool. So let's see. Yes, this was open and then uh, they retaped it. So we'll just gently, uh, it spins right around because the whole thing is bent bent pretty good let's let's go this way huh look at look at the massive wow um all right here we go ladies and gentlemen ba bam whoa check it out yeah oh my goodness oh cheese balls yeah so this uh these um uh, this is uh, all plastic this is uh the extent of the damage here yes I think these little buggers are uh, metal. Yeah, they're cold. They're metal. So this is where the extent of the damage happened is on the roof rack. Yes. So here it is. Look at this. Glorious and grand. Got uh, scuffed up a little bit there. Uh, we'll zoom in a little bit there. But now this piece is all metal all metal let's let's lift it oh my goodness is that heavy oh my goodness that is heavy that is heavy um got another piece here i think that just oh yeah that's just the stand piece that it would go into that's not part of the per se truck all right let's uh zoom back out here and uh wow look at this so this is something i've seen uh i never have um in my life, I've <laughs> been able to uh, afford, and uh, yeah, look at this glorious thing. We're gonna we're gonna get a different camera angle here, so we can really take a look at this bugger, huh? Yeah, this is great. This is great. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is um, if you don't know, um, almost real. Uh, this yeah, this is this is a huge. Huge truck here. Let's get the tape measure out here. So we're going to go all the way to the brush guard, all the way to the uh, spare tire. That's like nine inches there. And then uh, it is four and a half inches tall uh, without the roof rack. With the roof rack, it would be almost, uh, I would say, uh, four and a half inches tall. So very, very big. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, the doors do open on this. this and this is... Uh, a left hooker wow this is awesome i like i say i i've seen pictures of this uh, a lot of my uh a lot of my uh subscribers and a lot of the uh, guys over on facebook have these and i am just jealous as all beans that uh you know these guys have them and now I have, <laughs> I have one. Um, so just to let you know kind of what, what, uh, happened here. Um, this, I got it for about half price. And so it was still quite a big, uh, investment for me. Um, this, um, like I say, uh, th these are very, very expensive. 
totally, totally worth it. I would eventually uh, buy one, um, and I, I will eventually buy uh, a real, almost real model from them. That is, all oh, that carpet in there is felt. I don't know if you can really see that or not. Seat belts in it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, check this out. Check this out. Am I right? Yes, I am right. Oh, my goodness. And then this one also has, let's see if I can get it off here. Which way does it go? There is the uh, peg to hold it up. Oh, I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to get the uh, hood peg out. There it is. Look at the engine on that. Oh, the details. That's the TDI. Yeah, that's the TDI. It says right on the fender there. TDI. This is glorious. This is grand. Unbelievable. Um, I don't know. Um, I would like to see if I can... Uh, Oh, we got some front end, some front end issues there too, but uh, very, very awesome, highly detailed. This is uh, wow, 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 wow. Let's turn it over here. Oh my word! Oh my word! This is off, and this thing is heavy too. This is heavy. This has got to be close to. I gotta get a scale. <laughs> I got other projects that call for a scale. I was supposed to pick one up and I didn't yet, but um, almost real. Yes, and truly, truly is. Uh, yeah, the frame on this is metal as well. There's a lot of plastic components, but a lot of this uh, that you see under here is metal. I think the, the exhaust is plastic. I think, yep, and like the axles are plastic. Now those are those are working uh, suspension parts there. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, the front end's got some parts. Now, like I say, we, we lost some, oh, some parts just came off there. There's, uh, yep, you see the uh, tie rods are not connected. But, uh, oh, I love the uh, Camel Trophy tires. I was always going to get a tattoo of the Camel Trophy tread on my arm. Uh, maybe someday. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, totally, totally awesome. Uh, get this thing kind of, it's cold because it's been sitting outside at the wrong address. Unbelievable. Made me totally nervous. A lot of my stuff I don't buy, you know, $20, $30 is the max that I purchase this, you know, over two hundred dollars and it's sitting at somebody else's porch oh killing me killing me <laughs> beautiful color well that's it folks um let's see i don't know if uh real almost real models uh sells uh replacement parts or whatnot uh but uh yeah we're gonna let's see what we can do i'm i'm totally happy just having it like this um you know just uh you know, Camel Trophy things just kind of happen sometimes. Maybe this one kind of had a, a rollover. You know, I'm I'm totally fine with it just like this. I, I don't know. I don't have to have perfect stuff in my life because I'm not perfect. <laughs> but there you go. I had to share this. It's a special, uh, special video with a special little truck. And uh, boy, I am tickled pink. This is great. Thank you for joining me. Come on over to Facebook and join me over there and uh, Roverland and on Instagram. Maybe I'll post a lot of pictures over there on Instagram, Roverland channel. And this is your friend Dano. Thank you for joining me today on Roverland, uh, the uh, YouTube channel. That's anything and everything Land Rover. And as I always say, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.